Amanda here from DMG and welcome to and in my little mini series taking a look at these gaming guides. Now the first one that we took a look at was um, Bloodborne and that was by Future Press. This is by Piggyback and this is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and this actual book is a currently available book. The cover itself is hardback and the book itself is very thick so there's a lot of information in there and the pages are really nice quality they're not like super thick but they're not thin at all by any stretch you can hear and they've got a lovely uh, coating on them so it just feels really nice and the whole thing feels quality but before we get into the actual inside of the book what mine came with and I assume this is standard um, is inside the back so do take a look inside the back hardcover I got this it's crazy huge I don't think I can even get it all in camera so that's two thirds of it and then there's a bit there as well so I don't know if you can kind of see that's it that way and then there's the top just there and there's the bottom plus it's double sided I don't even know what's on the other side I don't know if that's the same or a different let's see wasteland tower region So that's a repeat, I'm not quite sure why. I'm not sure what the difference is in truth at the moment. I haven't really spent a lot of time looking at it, but you've got this massive map, which is obviously great if you want to have an overall view of it. I, I'm, a, I'm assuming that this is on the game, I don't know. And as I said, I'm not entirely clear what the difference is between the two sides but that is in there as well which is really nice and again it you can hear it's good quality it's not like super thin and if you've got like a room like a study where you do your gaming or, or some sort of room where you do your gaming then I guess it would be quite nice to put up on your wall as well if you wanted to okay so that was that so now to the book itself so as I said it's lovely pages the first page is this gorgeous bit of artwork and then we have obviously contents as I said I'm not going to do every single page but just going to have a quick look at the beginning here and then we have a foreword between um, our producer and our director I cannot say their names I'm sure if you're into this stuff you will know who they are gosh that lighting is bright and it's in Japanese and English so you've got that which is quite fun to see an introduction then we've got a quick start guide on what's in the book so basically we've got here something that they call primer so basically that is um, all the game mechanics and that kind of stuff then you have your actual walkthrough then you have about the shrines side quests inventory your bestiary and your extras and then it also has some supplemental chapters references maps uh, master trials I, I mean that doesn't mean much to me so then again we open up to this first chapter uh, called primer it tells you what the chapter's about it's got down the side here um, a little bit like a little mini index um, and so you can see where you are I'm hoping it will focus for you so it highlights the one where you are at the time so you can see what you're at and then we get into the actual uh, chapter itself so we have about the game structure commands difficulty cutscenes saving so quite a lot of information some lovely artwork again I love things like that it just makes it so nice when you see that uh, on screen display so explaining exactly what you're seeing and what they mean um, your navigation um, landmarks again lots of lovely lovely pictures as well which I always think makes such a difference maps and markers horses combat 
offensive, defensive, then your resources, so things like, you know, arrows, armour, animals, etc. Uh, cooking, character progression, weather, anyway, then we've got all about runes and the camera and things, other things, puzzles, and then we get to the walkthrough and then another beautiful image, isn't that stunning, I love that the horse so then the walkthrough um, again we've got here about the chapter itself and how it works and then we and the legend for the maps and then you get the first section of your uh, game now as I understand it it is completely open world you can pretty much go wherever you want at any time that you want um, so I'm assuming that it's not going in sort of necessarily a set order that you have to go in so if you're in a particular section you might want to find it now again you see I showed you here I hoping again you can see it there it says walkthrough if you saw there was the primer and then it says walkthrough it's quite pale in the camera it's actually okay to read in person and, but then you have like a gap after index so that's like your main menu and then this is the menu that's under the walkthrough menu so we've done introduction we've done map legend crash course now we're on prologue and then it gives you all these different sections that you have within that walkthrough section so you will know where you are but also roughly where to go if you're looking for something in particular I guess as well so as I say there's your map and it's a really nice clear map you can see things very easily the legend obviously is very clear right so that's the walkthrough chapter there so let's just flick I don't want to show too much um, and give anything away to you guys but you can get a rough idea so um, it's telling you I guess bosses I don't I don't really know um, and then again you beautiful map and carrot uh, uh, map and artwork it tells you here optional challenges I guess within that area so lots of info in that section so then we get to shrines. I'm not familiar enough to know what that means at this point, but um, it says this chapter has been designed to guide you through all the shrines and when applicable, the challenges required to reveal them. Through the, out the chapter, we use sequences of annotated screenshots with accompanying captions. These highlight essential actions that need to be performed. So here's the introduction to the chapter and it's sort of it's talking all there about it and then here it's got shrine directory and it's basically giving you the names of the shrines the contents of what's in that shrine I assume and then the page that you need to go to in order to get the information so if you are in a particular one and you're stuck then you can easily find the one that you want and um, just jump straight to that. So that's your shrine chapter, all of that. Let me keep my hand in there so that... So I'll just show you one. So for example, let's just go to the first shrine here. So, oh gosh, first of all, we have this huge map as well, the shrine map. So that's like an overview of them all. And then, so here's say one shrine, I'm assuming, or a couple of shrines. And it's just giving you the information about those. Okay, so now we go to the next chapter, which is side quests. Again, beautiful artwork there. Um, and I think this is fairly obvious what this is. It offers easy solutions for all 76 side quests. So that's your side quest chapters there. So then we've got... Um, I don't really know what that is. It just says towers, so I think this is... Oh, it's just telling you information about towers then. 
Um, and it's saying you should go to your tower in the region. The first thing you should do is visit the tower. I don't know why. And then again, there's some information there about all these side quests. Again, I don't want to give anything away, so I'll just flick so you can get a feel for the book without, you know, if you're in the middle of playing, without accidentally showing anything that you don't want to see. Again, beautiful artwork. So now we go to the inventory. Again, gorgeous artwork. I think obviously inventory kind of says what it is on the tin. So that's your inventory chapter. And it's pretty much like this. So it's listing, like here it's got um, uh, added effects, then armor. And it's literally showing you all the armor and, the, and its stats. And a little picture, just as an example. Oh, here the armor look. Oh, uh, yes, availability side quests, blah blah blah. So it tells you where to get them as well. So that's handy. So then there's all these different things, and then you go to weapons. Um, same thing, you're a lot of weapons, and again, an image. And then I'm hoping you can see and then details about it with all the stats. It's really nice having the little image as well, I think. So then we've got shields, bows, arrows, materials. So materials is slightly different. But you've still got image, name, sell price, HP, category, uh, potency, I'm trying to read it for you, duration and availability. And it basically has two columns there for that. Yes, so we've got another page there. Then we've got foods. And basically icon name, sell price, HP recovery. And more food, wow. Makes you hungry, huh? <laughs> Again, let me. So that's the ingredients. So this is cooked food. I'm assuming you have to gather the ingredients and then you can make that food. Uh, elixirs, important items, and then we're at your bestiary I think that's how you say it I never say it right and obviously that's going to be listing all your beasts and monsters yeah that goes to there so it's not massive but so you've got a picture the name and then down the side you've got those different ones of this particular thing there's a normal one fire one an ice one an electric one so it's giving you all the um, HP rank common locations items it drops uh, and then just strategy information so it's kind of cool so you're getting it's a page per beast but you've got lots of subcategories that it's dealing with within each one so you've got a lot going on there and then we cut to the chapter extras it says this chapter covers activities and challenges that are not listed in your adventure log many of which contribute to your overall completion rate we also document and discuss a variety of optional objectives ranging from mini games to secret missions and features and again beautiful artwork that's that chapter is that one there so then we have completion rate i guess this is the extra bits that will give you that 100% that isn't perhaps immediately obvious in the main game. So you've got uh, great fairy fountains and a map and sub bosses, Karok seeds, uh, mini games. I'm so sorry if you guys are uh, absolutely crazy about Zelda and I'm just butchering pronunciation. I'm so sorry. Uh, mini games dragons and compendium the 
compendium is a collection of 394 entries that you need to fill by taking pictures of the corresponding targets, animals, enemies and plants and so forth. Every time you run into an item or creature that you have yet to encounter, make it a habit to photograph it immediately. Objects that you've not added to your compendium will appear in orange characters when you look at them through the camera. Therefore, if you see a name in orange, take a picture and save it. You can later open the compendium to find a dedicated sheet offering details on the object in question. Once the compendium has been completely filled, speak to Simon to receive your reward. So this is a list of all the things that I assume that you need to take photographs of. Secrets and Easter eggs. Now I'm not going to let any that be seen too much but you know that it's there because I don't want to risk anything being spoiled. References and analysis. For players starting a new playthrough, especially on master mode, this chapter is packed with information on how to acquire the most useful weapons, upscale armour with the minimum effort and cook the most efficient recipes. We also cover the inventories of every merchant in Hyrule and useful miscellaneous such as where to find the best horses that is here so not a big big chapter but lots of information again farming so with product um like i don't know bananas <laughs> and it tells you where they are um introduction cooking so, all prospecting amiibo overview merchants Wandering Merchants and Miscellanea. Uh, maps. This fe de chapter features detailed annotated maps covering the entire kingdom. So, this then introduces the maps. It gives you all the icons and uh, legend, etc. And then you just start. So here's your overview map. And basically what it's saying here is this is the whole area and so if you want to look at this location then you're going to go to page 380 so it's giving you a good idea of you know if so you don't have to hunt about again it's just making it a lot easier to find what you want to find rather than having to go through the whole thing um, so that's really helpful and the map detail let me show you up close it has got a lot on there so obviously these dark dots are just um, geography but the rest of it is lots of info now I would say for me and I've got good eyesight close up that these are tiny and it's quite hard to read the numbers okay so that's all the different maps oh gosh this is a completely different style that's um the castle so there's a little bit of detail about the actual castle itself there and then we get to the master trials the first expansion for Breath of the Wild will introduce new side quests and loot, the master mode difficulty setting and a special challenge known as the Trial of the Sword. In this chapter we'll show you how to get the most out of the many new features in this expansion pass exclusive download. Oh, so that's interesting. So this presumably is all about, from what they're reading, is all about the expansion. So Trial of the Sword all different information there. Champions Ballad. Breath of the Wild's second downloadable expansion features new side quests. So, so yeah this book did have a previous version and I forgot actually that about that and clearly that was because that didn't include this additional material. So when you actually look to purchase you want to make sure you get the one with this design on the front. Yeah. So this is the other expansion so that's all of that information. Again I don't want to hover too much on it because I don't want to give anything away. What the heck? Oh, wow. And then we have concept art. Wow, isn't that amazing? Again, I'm not going to let you guys see too much of that, just give you an idea of it, because I'm sure you'll want to see it 
in its in the book itself so that's quite a few pages on that and then we get to the index and it says to avoid potential spoilers note that critical page references are in red nice big index but of course don't forget each chapter not each chapter a lot of the chapters have their own in chapter indexes as well which is helpful and then that is it just the credits and the final page and then the back so that is it that is the legend of zelda breath of the wild piggyback guide and as you can see it's absolutely stunning really really thorough i obviously am not in a position to comment how accurate it is i haven't played the game i have no idea okay so that is the book i hope you have enjoyed taking a look at what it's like and hopefully that's given you some idea of whether it's something you might like to purchase for yourself and given you some idea of what the content is without hopefully giving too much away um in its detail but enough just to give you an idea of it whether it's the kind of book you'd like i personally think it looks great i obviously at this stage can't comment on whether it's accurate and whether it's content is correct because i haven't played the game i'm assuming based on my experience with Bloodborne book which although I know it's a different publisher but they're similar quality very similar styling so I'm assuming that they would be similar in that regard certainly that one seemed pretty good so I'm thinking that this is probably going to be there or thereabouts as well so I hope as I said that you've enjoyed it um now I'm here in the UK, I managed to get this off Amazon no problem and um, it had, oh my gosh, I'm totally burning this down. Okay, so that is it. That is the whole book. As you can see, it's a really nice book. The only sort of downside for me that I could see when I was going through was that map on in the map section not the main maps in here the maps sort of as you go through were fine but in the map section the maps the, the numbers were just quite small and as i said i've got very good up close eyesight and i was struggling a little to read those i could read them but it wasn't like super easy but the rest of the maps in the book what I didn't find a problem at all it was just that particular one and that's really the only negative I can find the rest of it I mean I think the quality seems really good the actual uh, artwork is incredible the the actual um, quality of the printing and the reproduction of the artwork is great the maps as I said apart from that one section look great this art works great the pages themselves seem really nice quality the book itself seems really good quality um and generally i just think it looks really really nice i can't obviously comment at this stage as to the accuracy of the content i haven't played the game so i don't know i would be interested um if any of you have had this book and played the game whether you have found it accurate i would be interested to hear on that point but certainly for me i'm i i think it looks like it ought to be just because the presentation of it seems such high quality it would be really shocking to me if the content itself was just really off so i i'm assuming that it's going to be right but you know i would be interested to hear your feedback on that so that is it otherwise so thank you so much for joining me for this um installment of my little mini series i hope you'll come back for the next ones and i will see you again soon so that is it for this installment of my little mini series looking at these guides i have obviously a couple more to share with you yet so i hope you'll come back and join me for those but otherwise in the meantime thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye for now bye mm -hmm.